So let's start with that big story on the Daily Mail, Paul. Yeah, it's tragic. Uh, tragic, yet unfortunately inevitable news that they've found debris now that would suggest that uh, the Titan is very likely to have uh, imploded at depth. We don't know when or how or... I, I mean, I only hope that um, it was relatively early on in the process, so they weren't sat in there for days and days uh, contemplating the end. I mean, I'd like to say at this point, I don't think it was all in vain. There's been a lot of um, a quite offensive fun poking this week, particularly due to the, the wealth of the chaps involved, yeah. uh, which is entirely unnecessary uh, for You're, my money. You mean things like Ash Saka, who said, if the super-rich can spend £250,000 on vanity jaunts 2.4 miles beneath the ocean, then they're not being taxed enough. Things like that. The caring left, Nick. The caring yeah, yeah. left. Shocking. I would say, however, I'd like to say at this point, I don't think they've died in vain now. I mean, um, we need explorers like this. Now, they're all men, um, but it doesn't matter what, what gender they are. We need explorers like this. We need people who are going to take risks. This was a huge risk you know, in hindsight, and not in hindsight, really, um, in reality. However, uh, without this type of uh, exploration, where do, we, where do we get ourselves to, Nick? Yeah, and that's the argument, is it? Some people say, why, it's reckless, why did you do this? But other people say, no, it's the pioneering spirit that has got us this, this far. What do you think, Lewis? I think, uh, obviously, it's a tragedy. People have died, but there's lessons to be learned from this. First of all, like you said, they, they died within two hours of... Uh, of going down on the so. thing. Yeah, I think that's what they said. It was within two hours. So it wasn't... But... He, here's the point. The point is, if this guy Stockton Rush, who died aboard, he was the leader of the entire thing. So at least he went down with his ship, right? He, he, he said he didn't hire, a few years ago, he said he didn't hire 50-year-old white men with military experience because they weren't, quote-unquote, inspirational. And he said that anybody can drive this sub, uh, and he was actually being driven with a video game controller. Did you hear this? Yes. OK. So, basically, his wokeism killed him. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm not sure I put it that bluntly, but I, would, I had heard that about the over 50-year-old white men, and that, that is unfortunate when people, you know, give, prefer, give preferential treatment to other people rather than being based on experience. And obviously, in these kind of situations, experience is everything, isn't it? Absolutely. So, I mean, this is the whole argument of meritocracy over diversity, isn't it? Yeah. Um, and you can have... You, you should always have meritocracy, no matter what. And yeah. there was a man. Oh. There was a man who lost his job. This is what I've, I, I don't have it in front of me. But a man who lost his job, who who made a complaint about the safety issues, and he was replaced by somebody much much younger than right. him. There was also a guy who was going to go on it, another someone else who had money and was interested in going and signed up for it, but then said it's just too risky and pulled out. So imagine being that guy now. That must be a strange feeling to know that you because he just yeah. said it's just too risky and he obviously was proved right. Like Seth MacFarlane on 9/11. Yeah, it, it's... But it has been discussing some of the response. I don't want to dwell on it too much, but the New Republic published this uh, tweet. They said, Ocean Gate CEO missing in Titanic sub had history of donating to GOP candidates. And this is where it gets irrelevant. really sick, the culture war. It's irrelevant. Snopes tried to blame it on Elon Musk. They said, oh, it's something to do with Starlink. And then they fact-checked it and they said it was true. And it was completely absurd. What does Starlink have to do with this? You can't get Starlink under the water. So the politicisation of it has been very disturbing. I've even seen some lefties on this channel sort of... There's a real problem. When people are successful and they do things that seem a bit eccentric, there's a real weird hatred, isn't there? Well, absolutely, and I just don't think we should be glorifying the death of four, five humans, sorry. That's right. the point, yeah. I think that will stop now that's happened, but in the build-up to it, it was, it was very yeah, disturbing yeah, to I see. Yeah, I hope so. All right, very, very sad story.